I'm sorry, my brain is just freezing up. Oh, I know. My brain's right there. <laughs> we both have pregnancy brain. Welcome to... Okay, name of the video. I don't know. Welcome to 10 names we love but won't be using. If you're new to our channel, I'm Caitlin. That's I'm Chelsea. Chelsea. She is 35 weeks pregnant. Oh, I'm so glad you knew where I was going with that because I just said she is and gave you no warning. Yeah. Gotcha. Chelsea's 35 weeks pregnant. We're expecting our little one in April. I absolutely love the 10 names I love. Oh, there she goes. Sorry. See? 35 weeks pregnant. I'm back. I absolutely love the 10 names we love but won't be using videos. I don't know why. I just love She's hearing been dying people to make one. talk about their names. So, yeah. This is like fully my baby video. And Chelsea <laughs> is gracious enough to guest star in it with me. <laughs> so we'll go through. We have not revealed the sex of our baby. Um, to people on the internet, we know and yes, we have let it slip to almost everyone in our personal in person, lives. Yeah. So if you're one of the people in our personal lives and you're watching this, please do not comment with the sex of the baby. We're trying to keep it secret from at least the internet because yeah. our plan all along had been to keep it secret. And then we just failed at that. We just failed. We fucked it up. And so we're going to do five girl names and five boy names and we we like kept back our favorites still because yeah we I might use them yeah we might use them and like i don't think that we will 100 percent know until we actually see our little boo boo yeah i don't think you can know until you see the baby i know a lot of people more recently who like they're like yep this is the name of our child like their name is monogrammed all over the room they're 100 percent sure and i just don't know yeah they must love that name so much i just i don't think i could ever do it i don't Got it. Let's hope it didn't show up in many of the other shots. It's fine. We have a very large dog. <laughs> and his fur is everywhere. He's asleep at behind all times. us. He's asleep. My back lips there. are so swollen right now. Chelsea's got the pregnancy Botox look going on. <laughs> First name um, would be for a girl. Mm -hmm. And it would be Amelia. We really liked that name. I love the name Amelia. I don't know why we vetoed it. This is, this is going to be the problem. We're going to go through the list. We're going to be like, why did we veto that name? I, the problem with Amelia, I think, if I recall correctly, we know too many Amys. Yeah, we And that's do like the shortened Amy's. form of it. And that was actually the problem with a lot of our names that we really loved or were very, it, they were like very similar. It's not that we don't like the name Amy. It's more people that we know. And then it's suddenly like five people think that they're like, na you're naming your kid after them. Yeah. And it's just kind of. Kind of weird. I love Amelia though. No, it's it's so pretty. pretty. Do we want to do all the girls' names first, and then yeah, we can do that. Or like bump back in between. That. What do you prefer? Let's do all the girl names first. Okay. Let's just do it. Number two. Oh God, this was my favorite for so long. Mm -hmm. Eleanor. Eleanor. I love the name Eleanor. I Shortened to Ellie. Oh, you, there's no bad way to shorten the name. We really liked Ellie. I knew someone named Eleanor, but it was like, I I don't interact with them enough now that it, it would be yeah, a concern. It wouldn't be a... So it was really good. And then we just liked other names better. Yeah. And so that's really we it. That, we still We didn't think that would happen name. either. Um, yeah, Eleanor. Eleanor yeah. is a great name. That's, yeah. What that's you doing, the buddy? Dog. The third one, we still kind of like. I feel like we could still use I this think at it's, some point. Yeah, I think it's the one I would be most likely to use. Off this list? Off of this list, for sure. For a girl, Noah. Oh, I just love it. She loves it. I'm like way more passionate about this. I'm always the deciding factor in the name choices. Chelsea, especially with like boy names, Chelsea would like have so many ideas and I would just veto them all. Every last one. Especially but... the next name. Yeah. This one didn't just get vetoed. It got mocked mercilessly. <laughs> it has now become a running joke. And it's... We'll see. Maybe the internet can offer some perspective and Chelsea can be smug then. Or maybe people will agree with me. Who knows? Mm. So the next one was Chelsea's pick. And I did not respond in a square wife manner. In my defense, this was way before we got pregnant. 
way before, before we got married and we were just casually talking about names. And Chelsea turned to me and was like, you know what name I really love? Clementine. I think it's so cute. Chelsea still thinks it's really pretty. I do think it's really pretty. I think it's a great name for You're someone else's child. You're such a liar. I just, I don't know. Chelsea? When we first started talking about names when we were dating, Chelsea just loved flower names and fruit names. <laughs> I still like Azalea. Azalea was one of the better ones, I think, I will say. <laughs> was one you were like, Belladonna. I was like, why? Why are you doing this to our future child? Belladonna's pretty. <laughs> Chelsea just needed to marry a hippie, and then she could have gotten all of her cute, cutesy, flowery names in. Clearly. Aw, don't be sad. Mm. That's okay. Of the, like, finalized names that we do have, Chelsea actually came up with a few of them. So don't think that I, like, veto all of her suggestions no. either. I came up with some good ones. You came up with some good ones. And I did get one hippie allowance she did she convinced me on one hippie one so real dang cute it's like when you know other people who are pregnant and you're worried they're gonna steal your name that anxiety is so real it's so real every single time a youtuber has had a baby lately we've been like oh my god oh yeah. my god are they gonna pick a name are they gonna pick the name are they gonna... oh god and at <laughs> one point i was like i am still going to use the name i don't care if there's two youtube babies born within like four months of each other or whatever <laughs> yeah. the same name i'm doing it luckily it has not happened no but the anxiety is still real i think even after our child is born we'll still be like the next time someone else gets pregnant we're gonna be like they're gonna they're gonna take it they're gonna take the name they're gonna take the name and so that's why we'll keep it all in the down low the last girl's name is coraline coraline yeah we oh. i mean might Not still use this, but my Caroline. friend Caroline, Coraline, my friend just had a baby. Not yeah. just, I guess it was six months ago. Oh my god! But she she ended up naming her Coraline, and I was like, just proof how cute a name it is. It's so cute. Oh my god, and it suits her so well. Yeah. I can't even be mad. We it both, suits her perfectly. We both love the book and the movie Coraline. Yeah. So that was like. I think where it came from because mm -hmm. I don't know any other Coraline. We also like to either. pick names that like we they're common enough that no one's gonna be like what the heck, but that like you, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but that like you probably haven't actually met many people in real life with that name. <coughs> oh my and god, Coraline fit that to a T. I'm a mess today. You are not a mess. You are glowing and you are beautiful. Well then. <laughs> Okay. Boys' names. Boys' names. Um, so first on the list of boys' names was Patrick. Patrick. This was like a brief, briefly entertained. I yeah. swear for like two weeks. We were like, oh, we like the name Patrick. Mm -hmm. And then we just moved on to another name. Yeah. <laughs> it's still, it's a lovely name, but. It is. It's great. I don't think it was, I don't think it was unique enough for us. Yeah, I think that's true. Uh, it, it's not even that it's, it's common. Cause no. it's not a common name. No. But it just didn't stand out enough for us, yeah, I think. I would agree. Um, we did like that it could be, like, nicknamed to Trick. Like, that, I don't, That's her. I don't know. She it's, likes that. It's adorable that a little tiny, like, toddler would be running around. And you could, like... Anyways. I told Chelsea, though, that if we have um, a baby on St. Patrick's Day, we need to give them an Irish name. And she was like, um, I don't think that's how it works. No. Um, that's she nowhere goes, near our due date anyway. She was so. never allowed to shorten her own name, so she goes gangbusters with nicknames. It's true. Yeah, growing up and even still now, my mother will be like, you are not anything else. And I really internalize that, and I don't let anyone else call me anything but Caitlin. Don't. And this day. your mother will not call our child by any shortened no, yeah, she warned us. She about warned that. us. She was like, "I am not calling them a nickname. No. I'm calling them by the name that you chose for them." And it's I was just like, a "Weird, your mom." But we thing. also chose the nickname. <laughs> you know, grandma's right. You just gotta let grandmas be grandmas. Don't, don't try and fight with the grandma. Don't do it. You're not gonna win. We have observed that plenty of times. Time and time again. Second boy's name on the list, Finnegan. Another Irish name. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah, we went with a lot of Irish boys' names. So weird. And then it's funny because we ended up, for our final choices, leaning them to more Hebrew names. Yeah. So. 
I think we went through name phases. Anyways, Finnegan. We really love the name Finnegan. Um, we told some of our friends about it and they were immediately like, don't you dare use that name because his parents' dog is named Finnegan and is apparently quite the little shit. So we decided so against were, it. So they were immediately like, no. Well, no, that's not why we decided against it. I was like, screw you. I don't care about your dog. That's part of the reason. But they felt very strongly about it. They had like a campaign to stop us from using it. And, and then, then my friend had a baby and named him Finley. So we were like, yeah. that's pretty close. We're going to let them. It's too close. This was the issue with a lot of our names. It's just too, too close. close. And it suits him. Again, you can't, like, it's not like you can be mad. They, they got pregnant first. They're... And he is a, he's a sweet little Finley. Like, it just suits him. Yeah. So, that name's out. Yep. That one's out, like, it's definitely not coming back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kudos if your name is Finnegan. I think it's really cute. It is. The next one was? Quinn. Quinn. Now, Quinn, we discussed, we were, like, for a boy or a girl mm -hmm. for a long time. I think Quinn and Noah are the only gender, like, neutral names yeah. on this list, which is weird, because I would have thought that we would have had more <laughs> gender neutral yeah, names, funny. considering how little stock we put in gender norms. But, I guess we like more old-fashioned names. Yeah. So, Quinn, we had a long discussion. We kept bouncing back for a girl, for a boy, for a girl, for a boy. For a boy. I think it Landed would work on boy. for either, but we oh, just yeah. like it a tiny bit more for a boy. Just a teensy bit more just a for a boy. Yeah, Quinn. Next one? The next one, the fourth boy name, Oliver. I still love Oliver. I still like Oliver. I would hold on to that one. This is another one, though, that we know someone with a name that's really close. One of Chelsea's cousin's daughter's name is Olivia. Yeah, so. So it makes it difficult, but uh, a little baby Oliver. That's just adorable. Is that a hawk? No, it's a seagull. <laughs> Chelsea has a fear of a hawk swooping down and picking up our tiny little dog. It doesn't dog. look like a seagull. It's a seagull. And flying away with them. I... It could. That's the weirdest thing. Like, it has happened. But, like, it's a freak anomaly. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. It's a seagull. We're good. Oh. Yeah, Oliver. Where did Oliver even come from? I have no idea. I have no clue. We never, like, looked at baby books. We just kind of yelled out names that we thought about. Yeah, it would just be like one of us would see a name somewhere and go back to the other and be like, what do you think about this? Mm -hmm. And that's just sort of in the process for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Kingsley. Kingsley. I really like that one. It's for cute. A long time. It's cute. If a bit pretentious. It's extremely pretentious. I don't think we'd ever actually use it because of that. No. But we did like the sound of it. Yeah. Um, I think that one was actually in the runner when my, my brother and sister-in-law were expecting. Yeah. That was, again, way before we had kids. A lot of these are, like, from the archives. From the, from the, the ancient times. Like, we, we've been talking about baby names for so long. So long. Um, and I think some of, the, like, the finalists are ones that we've been considering for a long time. Mm -hmm. I still have, like, one, you know that name that you just grow up? with and you're like always convinced you're gonna name your kid that you're just so sure of it yeah. i i had that name for a boy i could never come up with the girls names for some reason mine was a girl's name madeline yeah that's true yeah. madeline's a nice name that's a pretty name yeah madeline and adelaide are pretty names adelaide is a nice name. Also, although adelaide. i whenever i think of adelaide i think of lemonade adelaide lemonade you know as far as like cute little kid, kid nicknames Adelaide like lemonade. on the playground, lemonade is not the worst thing to have your name associated with. So, oh, I thought that was a, it's like hard a... to make fun of. I really can't. We're facing ambulance. a window, by the way, just in case that's not clear. But I thought that was an ambulance because last night we were woken up by like four. Oh God, that was awful. First of all, it's daylight savings, so it was already an hour less of sleep time, and then in the middle of the night. Chelsea woke me up being like, look out the window. And I was like refusing to do it. I was like, no, I'm going to have to sleep. I won't. What is it? I won't do it. And there was like four fire trucks on our street. And we, I, we still don't know what it was for. We live like across from like a health office though. So I think that like the alarm in there got tripped. <laughs> the alarm in there just got tripped. So. Yeah. 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 But by like childhood favorite name is still on like the short list for a boy. I don't think we'll go with it. But what was it again? Just cut it out. Oh, right. I, yeah, I'm not willing to say it because I love it so much. I just want to be able to use it. Not that I can't use it if... Anyways, but... 
Yeah, I think most of the names on this list we've like kind of decided we're not using, except for maybe Noah. No, uh, I'm still. You Noah. write this list and then you're like, yeah, that name. Noah and Quinn, I'm still kind of like maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those are the ones I like the most for sure. They're the ones that you could. You know that, like, when in, like, reality TV shows, when they're like, and we're bringing this person who's voted off the island back in for one last shot. Yeah. That's, like, that, what that would be. That's what it would be like. Should I show them the belly? You should show them the belly. So, so she's 35 weeks pregnant right now. Hold on. I wonder if I could. Because we filmed this a day late. Oh, no. <laughs> later than we were supposed to. It's huge. It's gigantic. Big baby in there. Yeah. Kiss. I got all that video. We'll double check. Um, I used to make fun of those parents who were like, oh, I just can't wait for the baby to be here, but here I am now with five weeks left. And I know the baby needs to cook longer. We do not want our baby to come early, but I want it to be five weeks from now and our baby is here. I want to give their squishy little cheeks a kiss. I want to smell their head. Smell head. New baby smell. Yeah. Hold on. Right here. You've been hiding this whole. Oh, there's Rosie. Our love. There's our, Julia. Our babies. In the freaking yeah, bassinet. I'm getting her. Hi, Bubba. So, if you want to see a baby in five weeks or less, subscribe to our channel, like this video, comment below. We're very sorry if we offended you. If you have a name that we said, but we love all. Of we like all the names. That's so, why we chose them. Anyways. Uh, Hi everyone, it's Caitlin here. I'm just editing the vlog and I got to the end and realized we forgot to um, ask you guys for some questions. We're going to do a Q&A video. So anything that you have been wondering about Chelsea's pregnancy or our plans with, for our newborn or anything really, feel free to leave them down in the comments below or on our Instagram or our Twitter accounts that are on the end screen here. And uh, we will do our best to answer all the questions in our next video. <laughs> Thanks, Park Brigade. <laughs> Anyways, bye.